Hello and welcome back to the beautiful York University for the NSESA State Finals. Today we have Alma versus Hay Springs in Mario Kart 4 vs 4. I'm here with Caleb. We will be casting for you today and my name's Bryce. We'll get started here in just a few minutes. Caleb, what are your thoughts on the match? Um, it, it's going to be a match. That, I don't know stats-wise either team, but... You know, I think, I think we're in for a treat today, and yeah. we're going we're gonna to see what both teams put out there, and hopefully the best team will win. It'll be an exciting match. In our last game, they stuck to a lot of the same courses for consistency, and I'm looking to see the same sort of thing here, see the tracks that they practice most, um, keep that consistency um, so they feel like they have the home court advantage. Onto our first race selection out of four for our first game here. Looks like DK Summit Ma and Ribbon Road. Mount Wario. And Mount Ribbon Wario, Road. thank you for the correction. It is. I was, I was thinking about Ribbon the Road. Wii game. Ribbon Road is our first match here. One of my personal favorite courses. Lots of shortcuts and lots of options to upset the competition here. An excellent start by all racers. Alma versus Hay Springs. First match, first lap. A very tight pack at the moment. Lots of items going back and forth, just trying to separate from the competition at this moment in the race. We'll see what players are looking to take the shortcut here around the first corner. Some excellent shortcuts done by both teams. An excellent move into first place from behind. First and second place here, both holding on to some defensive items, looking to not get hit from behind by a red or green shell. Emmy takes first place in the lead, holding on to a defensive banana. A couple players here using the shortcut, trying to gain the advantage over the uh, large gap here. Some red shells being thrown in the lower four spots of the race, trying to keep things as close as possible, uh, entering it here into our last lap. The top four spots here going into the final stretch of the lap. A missed shortcut by one of the players there. Dio taking a final shortcut there, and looks like places are locked in as of this moment. An excellent first race by both teams. Emmy, Tanton, Joe, and Dio taking our top four spots. A nice mix of both teams there. And now on to our second race selection. Royal Raceway and back to Mount Wario for one of the teams. And that's what I was looking for with the consistency. Um, it looks like they really want Mount Wario, but they will not get it again and lose, a, lose again to the race selection. Wario, 
Royal Raceway starting our second race. Everyone's off to a great start. Top three spaces are very close. A very tight race here getting up to our start with Joe taking a little bit of a lead early on. The beginning of races usually seem to be the trouble spot for most teams uh, when everybody's in there and throwing items. It can be quite the bloodbath. And you can go from first to eighth in a matter of seconds. Um, as you can see here on screen. We're into the second lap now, and they're actually pretty packed together still. And still now in our second lap, a very tight race. Um, there has been no major separation as of yet. Uh, that can be both good and bad for both teams. All players are now looking for some items to help them move up a few spots in the race, looking to take those grass shortcuts just a little bit on the sides of each map to create a better line and get ahead of their competition. Nice use of the ramp shortcut off to the side by a few players, as well as holding on some to some defensive items here in the first places. I'm seeing some red shell hits that can upset the balance of things in the top four places. Austin is really hanging on to his first place spot though. As places are set. An excellent first place finish by Donkey Kong on the map. That's what I like to see and a great second race by all players. Austin taking first place in that one. Coming all the way from last place in our first race to first place in our second race. Just to show you anything is possible. A great comeback story. Now on to our third race selection. The team again going for Mount Wario and Excite Bike Arena is our other option. We'll see if they can get Mount Wario. Third time might be the charm. Looks like and they is. finally get it. So we'll see what they can do here on their on yeah. their chosen map. Uh, Mount Warrior was actually a straight through. You don't go around laps. It's start to finish, one straight line. Yes, different uh, from most maps. Mount Wario is uh, one continuous lane from start to finish instead of three laps like a lot of the other tracks on Mario Kart. We had a blowout at the start. That's... First time. That's Austin off to a great start, keeping his first place lead, grabbing a couple coins to keep his speed up. This map also has the potential for a couple of amazing time-saving shortcuts. Uh, we'll see if any players are brave enough to take them, or if they want to stick to the main route. An excellent first shortcut taken by Austin makes it no problem, as well as collecting a couple of those coins to maintain speed. This waterfall part can be tricky to navigate. Lots of rocks and other obstacles to bump into can throw you off your line, and you want to make sure you're getting those speed boosts off of each ledge. And looks like all players are doing a great job of keeping those in mind as they go through that part. Then as you come out of that, you go across a dam with water coming down. And if you don't hit the right part of it, it can really, really throw you off your line. Yeah, absolutely. Well said. Uh, this portion of a forest has always been proven difficult for me. I'm always running into trees here, uh, but looks like some of these players are a little bit better than me and doing a great job of navigating the forest. Still a very tight pack. Austin is still in a little bit of a early lead. 
entering our third lap here, or the third stretch of the race. A blue shell is on its way. We'll see how that can upset the balance. Blue shell takes out first place, but looks like he is still able to maintain his lead. No problem coming into the final stretch of the race here. It looked like he got hit slightly before the blue shell. It looks like he him. has it in the bag. And there's another first place. Excellent use of some mushrooms and some other items to gain a few places at the end. And Austin, Dio, Joe, and King Fo have our top four spots. Um, Austin, Tanton in second, and then tied for third. On to our fourth race. It seems like it's up for Rambo Road or Excite Bike. Yeah, the other team looking for Excite Bike again. That's been a popular choice for our players tonight. Uh, seems the simplicity and uh, uh, versatility of the map is something that they find very attractive and want to get into. Austin still holding on to first place with Joe in second. It's important on this map to use all the ramps to your advantage. You want to get as many of those speed boosts coming off of those as possible, as well as avoiding as many of those mud puddles as you can. Mushrooms are a great advantage to have on this race as you can cut corners with them a little bit and use them to outspace a couple of your opponents. Pretty tight race, a bloodbath of items spilling back and forth between teams here. There's been no major separation and we're halfway through our second lap. Entering our third lap, still very close among all racers. Lots of items being shared back and forth between teams, changing the position on the track. And heading into the final corner here, a couple players using mushrooms to gain that advantage. A bomb being dropped back, taking out a few players, mixing up the placings. An excellent finish by Emmy, taking that first place. And Tanton in second, Dio and Dio in third and fourth. Emmy and Tanton are now tied for first overall. Those are good races overall as we head into the second set here. Yeah, as we head into the second set, what do you think we're going to see? Well, maybe if Alma gets more of their map selected, they may race a little better because they, mm -hmm. they really took Mount Wario, but they didn't get any of their other picks. Yeah, yeah, they were right on with their choice for Mount Wario, but a couple of the other maps they fell behind a little bit. So we'll see if they can get a little bit maybe more lucky on the map selection here. And it looks like it is Royal Raceway again for this map. Back to Royal Raceway for the first race of the second set.
Everyone's off to a great start here. A great start from both teams. Very tight in the top four spot. Lots of defensive items being held, as well as people looking to make their move to jump into the lead here. Some bananas being thrown, placed strategically on the speed boosts. A lot of the players from Alma are going to have to look to be taking those top two, three spots if they're going to look to take this second match from Hay Springs. Looks like Austin has taken a major lead over the group, separating himself from the pack. Some great gameplay. And Joe is following behind in second. Yeah, still very tight between first and second. Finishing the final lap here soon. I'm seeing some players starting to use their items a little bit more frantically, trying to gain that next spot up in the ranks. Some players cutting through the grass here to hopefully get a better line and jump ahead of the competition. But lots of item exchange being taken into consideration here as well. And that was an exciting first race with Austin, Emmy, and King of James coming in our top, King of Games, excuse me, coming in our top three spots. Ribbon Road and Rainbow Road, two popular courses here. Looks like Rainbow Road was selected. Rainbow Road, which was Alma's choice, I believe. Uh, so we'll see what they can do here. Uh. They did a great job on Mount Wario, uh, which was another map they chose. So I'm looking to see great things out of Alma on this race. Everyone started off great. We're headed off. And one thing about this map in particular, lots of chances to fall off. Which can give your opponent the edge in a lot of uh, different ways in terms of items and separation from the pack. Also lots of chances to cut a few corners here and gain that separation as well. Still a very tight race with Austin out a little bit ahead of everybody. Hitting the biggest drifts you can on some of those bigger turns is going to be very beneficial to a lot of players, giving you a maximum speed boost, as well as holding on to items and making sure you're using your mushrooms and shells at the correct opportunities is a very challenging aspect of this particular map. have to make sure they pick the right drift line and use boost items at the right time or else they can go parading over the edge. 
costing them points and time. About halfway through our final lap here, we still see Austin out ahead of everybody and a tight pack in the lower seven places. Austin takes another first place with an excellent finish from both teams. Austin Joe Dio took top three spots and Austin King of Games and Joe taking top three overall. Dio, Dio tied for Joe for top three. Bowser's Castle and Ribbon Road are two options for our next race here. We'll see what team has the benefit of their course. It looks like Ribbon Road, which we played again last match. We'll see if anything turns out differently this time. Again, there are lots of opportunities for major shortcuts on this map. As well as a couple places where it's possible to fall off or get hit by some obstructions or stage hazards. Austin has been doing a good job of keeping that first place locked down, never letting anybody get close to him. And he's been doing a good job of separating himself from the rest of the players. Austin falls off the map, falling back a couple of spots. Into our second lap, still a pretty tight pack overall. A blue shell has been thrown. Takes out first place and looks like is passed by a few players. Austin looking to take a shortcut here. Excellent use of a mushroom and using the ghost to gain a few more mushrooms. Now back in the top three, and just like that, back in first place. Excellent move by Austin. Holding onto the green shell as a defensive item in first is always a classic move. He throws it, but at the expense of running into a wall, losing in first place. King of game has now taken first, and taken out by a red shell by Austin. Lots of back and forth happening in the first and second place. Coming into the final stretch of the map. Anything can happen here given the large short cut off to the right. But looks like Austin will hang on to the win here. As Joe comes in second too. Austin, Joe, and Emmy taking those top three spots in the race. And Austin with a perfect record so far in this set taking three first places. Looks like the choices are not Wario and Excitebite again. Two uh, very popular stages we've seen a lot this morning. And Excitebite again, maybe for the fifth time. This has been a very popular stage among our contestants. But the results seem to be different every time. So maybe that's why they like it. The simple design of this stage allows you to focus more on things like item placement, coins, and avoiding other things that you wouldn't want to happen to you.
a very tight race. No separation from the pack yet. Lots of items being thrown back and forth. Lots of people using mushrooms to cut some corners and gain a little bit of a speed advantage. Heading into our last lap here. Still a very tight race. Anything could happen. And an excellent finish from our components. Joe, Austin, and Dio taking our top three spots with Austin, Joe, and King of Game taking top three overall. And remember, this is a best out of three races. Heading now into our third set. The final set. It looks like Rainbow Road and Music Park have been picked. Music Park is a new track we haven't seen yet this morning. Trying to switch up, maybe catch the other team a little bit off guard. I mean, Music Park does have a lot of moving pieces in it. Mm -hmm. Lots of music, moving pieces means lots of opportunities for things to go right and lots of opportunities for things to go wrong. Typically when I race it, things go wrong. But Rainbow Road is chosen for our first set of, first race of the third set. Very tight race to start things off. We always see lots of item exchange and very close encounters here in the first lap before things have a chance to cool down and players have a chance to separate. Ooh, first place falling off and falling back all the way to eighth now. Emmy in first, using her defensive items very well and holding on to that position. King of game living up to his gamer tag here by showing in first place. Lightning has been used. Racers are a little spread out, but it still can be anyone's game. 
Yes, things are looking a bit more spread out as we head into our last lap here in the last corner. Eighth place finally found that bullet bill looking to get out of last. And using it to get all the way up to third. Excellent, excellent finish from second. Austin coming he, all the way from last place. All the way to second. So we had and that just shows, you know, you can never count yourself out. You never know what's going to happen. Our, Sometimes our you get just good Joe. items and you have a good line. Our top three in that match was Joe, Austin, and then Dio. And remember, the winner of this third set will win the whole thing. Both teams tied one set to one set at the moment. The match, the race tracks up are Mute City and Music Park. And they miss out on Music Park again, and Mute City is chosen. Mute City is one continuous track, as well as it has no coins. Both important things for players to keep in mind here as they Got head forward into the second race. To get coins, you have to be on the purple and blue pads. An extremely tight pack has formed near the top couple of places. Austin is in first. With Joe following up by. Austin holding on to that defensive item in first place, hoping to avoid getting hit by anything, looking for a little bit more separation between him and the rest of the pack as second and third try to close in on his position. Now entering our final lap. Austin is tightly clinging the first. Tan Tan is the second, and Joe is the third. The racers have to be really spread out this time. Lots of item exchanges going back and forth between second and third. Looking to gain that final spot. Lightning has been used. All top three places are small. And Austin takes first place with King of Game coming in second. And Joe coming in third. Austin, Joe, and King of Game in our top three spots overall at this moment, heading into our third race. And it looks like they're looking for Mount Wario again, as well as Music Park. Maybe, maybe they'll get Music Park. We'll see if third time is the charm for Music Park being selected. It looks like And it is. is. They get it. I'm looking forward to see what they can do on this. Yeah. Very close call with a couple people almost falling off the edge at the piano there. 
The important thing is you want to use every obstacle in this to your advantage. Get as many speed boosts as you can. Use the glide for its maximum amount of time and avoid those bouncing song notes which can always cause you trouble. Joe's in first hit, Edmi is in second. Players doing a great job of using mushrooms to their advantage to skip over some grassy lanes and use a couple shortcuts. A few item exchanges between second and third and fourth. A blue shell has been thrown, looking to take out that first place contender. Maybe shake things up a little bit. Now in our final lap, players are looking to make their move to gain as many spots as they can before the finish. As far as closest goes, they are still extremely close coming into the end of this lap. Very close race. And a good finish by all competitors. Head into our fourth and final race of this set. Austin takes first again, followed by Joe and then Dio. Ribbon Road and Mount Wario are our choices tonight. These seem to be two popular maps between both teams. And Mount Wario is selected. We've seen this particular race a couple of times already during these past few matches. And this final race could spell it all out for one team or the other. Everyone's off to a great start. A very tight pack. Every player is looking to use those shortcuts to their advantage to get a little bit of separation from everybody, avoid some of those items, and escape that scuffle as early as possible. Players doing a great job of using that glide to get all the way through the watery depths of that chasm. A couple of item exchanges going on between fourth and third place. Austin is holding first and Joe is in second. Coming into the final stretch here. Everybody's looking good. Austin holds first. A blue shell is on its way. We'll see if he can escape it in time. Oh, unlucky timing with the blue shell, but it looks like he's able to keep first. 
and he gets the win, hangs on to the win. Excellent finish by Austin there. Austin, Tanton, and Joe finish in our top three spots with Austin, Joe, Dio being top three overall. Congratulations to both teams for doing a great job and making it this far in the tournament.